So Premiere Pro just released the latest version of their software, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing off the new features. There's a lot of cool new features in this update. They have been long awaited for inside Premiere Pro. But if you're new here, hi, I'm John the Video Guy. I make video editing tutorials, specifically in Premiere Pro and sometimes in After Effects. If you're interested, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel and see more content. But for now, let's see what's new inside Premiere Pro. All right, for starters, you'll notice some slight UI changes to Premiere Pro's interface. You'll notice that the clips are more rounded inside the latest version. And also they made an update to the waveform. So they change when you change the audio level. So let's say if I change the audio level here, I'm just gonna grab my pen tool, maybe make a few keyframes. You can see that the waveforms inside the timeline change and adjust. This is a really nice update, showing and reflecting the audio changes over time. Now this next update is really cool. And I have to say, this is probably the one that I'm looking forward to using the most, you'll notice at the top right, you have this new button called search panel. When you click on it, a new panel appears that allows you to search your project for media. It uses AI to try to find media files for you. Now, as you know, as video editors, sometimes we work with files with just numbers and letters. So this new tool really makes it easy to find the exact file you're looking for. So let's say if you're looking for something, for example, maybe video editing timeline, you can see that it's browsing everything imported in my project and it's only displaying the most relevant pieces. So it's actually looking at the files themselves and it's identifying which pieces of media have a video editing timeline in it. So from here, you can double click, open it up in the source panel, make your edits, add it to the project. So it makes finding media very quick and easy. All right, so the next tool is Generative Extend. Now this has been in beta for a while now and with the latest release of Premiere Pro, it's now rolled out into the latest version. So from the tools panel, you'll notice a new tool at the very bottom. This is the Generative Extend tool. So when you click on it, you can then click click and drag on the edge of a clip to extend it. This uses AI and it will essentially upload this video and the AI will automatically generate and extend that piece of footage. Now this also works with audio as well. And one important note is you need to be connected to the internet in order to make this work because it's essentially uploading to generate the content. If we click on the button in the top right, you can see that generative extend is currently uploading. All right, so once it's done, you'll notice this little AI generated badge at the bottom. So essentially everything before this badge is the original clip and everything afterwards is the AI generated portion of the clip. So if we click and play this back, we can see how it did. So it did a pretty good job there, extending the motion and the movement. Now also in the latest version, they updated some of the color management options to make sure that you're in your color workspace by choosing color from the top right workspaces button. And then inside settings, you have more options under color setup. So from the color setup drop down, you have more options to choose from. And this allows you to use the most of your raw footage when it comes to color grading. Premiere Pro also came out with a new translate captions feature as well. So let's change our workspace to captions and graphics. Now, once your clip is transcribed. Let's say if I create my captions, I'm just going to choose one of the default caption settings. By default, it's in English. But what you now can do is click on this button at the top left, translate your captions to multiple languages. So let's say if you wanted to translate it to a different language, you can see that auto detected that it's English. And then if you want a different language, you can change the target language to a different language. So for example, you can choose Hindi or one of the options here. You can change the other settings and then click translate. Then you'll notice that a new caption track is created. And by default, it's hidden, but if you want it visible, you can unhide it and then hide the English or your original captions. And as you can see, we have our translated captions here. And then from here, you can go ahead and export them out. So those are the new features inside Premiere Pro 2025 version 25.2. What are your thoughts on them? Leave your comments down below, but that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.